Welcome to a new episode of Diversity in Urban Art. My name is Jameson Thomas, and I am an artist in Winter Park, Florida. I studied art in New York State at Skidmore College in Saratoga Springs, New York. And I studied everything from photography to fine art to sculpture to um, abstract art. And I've settled more on narrative art as um, what I'm doing in my work today. What we're looking at right here is a blank canvas. And so many people will ask, how do you get started? What, you know, what, what inspires you? How do you build on a theme with a narrative piece? Well, you start with a blank canvas. And um, this happens to be a wood canvas. And I thought this would be an interesting substrate to work with in telling the story that um, came to me when a bird was jumping into my window. I would sit in the library and the light would be beautiful. I'd be drinking my coffee and writing my thoughts for the day. And this cardinal would just start jumping into the glass. And I thought, he's crazy. He must be crazy. And I did all sorts of research on why does a cardinal jump into the glass. And apparently there's, there are little tiny bugs that will settle on your glass early in the morning that you can't even see, especially when the light is just appearing. And they'll be going for those um, little bugs. And I just became fascinated with this cardinal and I started photographing him. He would move so quickly and it was a him because he was beautiful. Um, deep, dark, cardinal red and um, I just was captivated by him and I must have taken over 200 photographs of him jumping into the glass. And I st one looked at some of the pictures one day and I realized he was right above a globe and this stuck in my head and I started dreaming about him. And that's sometimes how a story begins, a narration. Um, I'm going to show you a piece that I did many years ago that was a narrative piece about a mermaid. And the story actually was spurred by a book that I read and a story within the book by a guy named uh, Robert Fulgham. And he was telling the story about how he was playing a game with a group of children at a summer camp. And he <clears throat> wanted everybody to have a part. It was like the gnomes and the, uh, the, the monsters and the king. And he gave everybody a part. And this little girl had the part of a gnome. And she walked up and she said, where do the mermaids go? And he said, there aren't any mermaids. And she said, oh, but I'm a mermaid and I need to know where I go. And so the whole idea was people who are different are comfortable with themselves. It's other people who aren't comfortable with them. And so that's how this story developed. But back to my story about the cardinal, um, I thought, OK, I've got all these photographs, and I don't want this to be a story told through photography. So I really quickly sketched out my first idea, which was just the globe and the bird, a blur in the background. And then I w took each individual photograph and started building on it. The bird flies by, he's a little, he's more in focus and this will be blurred. That's my second piece. Then I actually have a picture of this cardinal looking at me through the window or looking at something. And I will actually build this theme on this canvas. I'll draw it. I'll start to paint it in, and as I work with this, it'll take on a life of its own. I have an idea, and I have a concept of where this is going, but it's going to dictate to me where it goes. So I don't know if I'm going to go with an illustrative technique like I did with my mermaid, or if I'm going to do sort of a blurred out painting in oil and then draw on top of it with charcoal. Um, that's yet to be seen. But I do know what my story is. I'm going to start with this bird flying by the globe. I'm going to go to the bird more in focus. I'm going to focus completely on this bird who looks at me. Then I'm going to go with this bird landing on the sill of the window. He steps up. He's, then he's like, I want to get in. I want to be where that globe is. There's something that is you know, bringing him in. It's like a magnet. It's drawing him in and he wants to get there. So he's just jumping up and this is probably going to be more about the claws against the glass and he's really getting anxious. And then finally he 
breaks through the glass and the glass will be coming right at the viewer and then he's going to jump in on the broken glass in the hole the glass is going to be settling on top of this globe and now it's going to start getting a little bit more abstract and um, dreamlike. The globe will separate from the metal, from the base. The glass is going to start dropping into the bottom of the painting. That's going to become water. The bird is going to start pecking on this globe. That was actually out of order. He's, this is before the, 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 the base of the globe falls away. And then the final scene will be the, I don't even think I have that drawing here, but the final scene will be this globe breaks open, the bird jumps back again, just like he had been when he jumped into my window and was just trying to get inside. And he's backing up from the globe. The globe is now split. It's floating in water that's shards of glass that have melted and have become sort of like an ice melt. And all these blackbirds fly out from inside of the globe. And that'll finish the series. So my challenge now is I've got the story drawn up. It's all there. Um, why do I have this? Why, what am I trying to say? Why did it grow into this entire narrative? I'm not sure I know yet. And once I paint it, it'll be fun to see what you think.